non-governmental organization under the auspices of uh, Ladies Empowerment Goals and Support Initiatives in partnership with Peace Direct and Religious Leaders have taxed federal, state, government at all levels to ensure functionality of all 112 toll-free telephone lines for emergencies, rescue mission response of Nigerians across the country. They made a call at the early warning, early response consultation meeting with over 30 various groups and relevant stakeholders with the theme, Revitalizing Nigeria's Unified Emergency Numbers, aimed to reawaken and uh, conscientize Nigerians on the existence of emergency call numbers and to also access it when in distress in various parts of the country. The program manager, uh, Timothy Lawrence, uh, said the system barely uh, functioned after billions of Naira was invested on the emergency toll-free line, and yet uh, Nigerians have yet to be to access it. Uh, also noting that all ends must be on deck to ensure functionality of the system. He urged Nigerians and the government to restore the system and also ensure it works while calling on duty bearers to respond during emergencies to reduce crime. What we want to do and what we're doing in this meeting is to begin to uh, reawaken the conscience of Nigerians that this number exists and of course pushing even at the national level to the National Assembly on how they need to see that they work to strengthen uh, the functionality of this uh, uh, unified emergency call. Over from our research, the number is quite not very active. Uh, do a test run, put in calls across this number, but uh, all of that have been effort in futility. So, uh, and for us, we want value for money as Nigerians. Like I said to the participant in the course of the meeting, over 10 billion has been expended to set up the system, yet it is not functional optimally uh, across the state in Nigeria. Security agencies should always be prompt they should always be alert and they should always be prepared towards uh, arresting or mitigating any situation that is constituting a breach to peace of a community, of a state, or wherever people are found. The identity of people that provide information under confidentiality to these security agencies should be protected. And culprits, when they are arrested, should be properly prosecuted. It serves as a deterrent. It serves as a means. gives people hope to say something when they say something. Our communication system is not very effective. We try to send that information. It doesn't go in. Secondly, the response you have is not very effective. Maybe you ring, nobody picks the phone. Or if they fix they tell you that there are no vehicles to move our so these are two, and sadly, lack of sincerity of people handling the, the response activities. Most of them is that they should be up and doing. They should put people that are really capable who want to work, not anybody. It doesn't matter. Even if they say junior outside, we still need to work and sacrifice. We should be put in the place. Some of the participants who are security agents uh, said there is a need to revive the emergency system to enable security agencies to carry out their work effectively and abort uh, security threats, stressing the need for synergy to enable them to uh, gather intelligence. Emergency number to uh, call in the event of any crime, trying to revitalize it. We have made recommendations and then we want it to revive so that it will enable security outfits to carry out their work effectively and for us to have speedy intelligence reports through those numbers and for us to also be able to tackle them properly. The great data collection to be able to be prompt, proactive whenever we have reports. Our response should also be that and also we should be very, very active to save lives and property. And sensitize ourselves and members of the community on the effect of AWA, that is early warning and early response. Yes, NDLA is doing everything possible to make sure that drug abuse in cognizant is is brought to the minimal level. Through 
uh, sensitization of members of the public, getting them, educating the public about the dangers of drug abuse. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.